Get ready to fall back. Daylight saving time ends this weekend, meaning that we will all be turning those clocks back an hour. Meteorologist Eric Fedorin joining us now with a look at what to keep in mind for time change. That's some eerie music too. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about time change. Okay, but for us, Dirk, doesn't that mean like we gain an hour? This is this is the, the good morning, time. This is folks. this is this is for us. Okay. Early morning risers. <laughs> this is where we just rejoice. It's so nice because we get an extra hour of sleep. Plus. It gets darker earlier, so you get to get to bed a little bit. Uh, well, you get to get to bed when it's dark outside, and you can also send the kids off to bed a little bit earlier if you're good about it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Daylight saving time. It actually occurs Sunday morning at 2 a.m. At 2 a.m., the clock then automatically goes back an hour, thus giving us an extra hour of uh, sleep in the morning. It does make for a brighter morning. Sunrise is going to occur Sunday morning at 636, and sunset is going to occur at 5.01 p.m. So again, it gets darker earlier out there, so those are the things you're going to have to kind of adjust to. But uh, again, that's happening this weekend. So before you go to bed Saturday night, make sure you fall back an hour.